Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Ashen of days. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Child of God, they are angry. Your enemies are angry. Hear this word very well. Why? Because they, can, they can't touch you. They try, they try to touch you. They look for loopholes. They look for strange ways. They look for trickish means to try to touch your life, but you are untouchable. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is okay. You can feel the heat as a human being. When the enemy is trying to touch your life, like you feel the heat, you can feel the attack, you can sense it, you can like understand that something is going on in the spiritual realm you can feel it but all of that whatever that is going on cannot touch you hallelujah because they cannot touch you this make them so mad and so angry like they try different kinds of way they try this way try this way try this way it seems every way that they try is blocked so this causes your enemy to be so mad and angry because you carry a real strength you carry a restraint. When I mean a restraint, something that is not common. Something that not everyone have it. Special something, you know. Like when the Bible says you are the apples of God's eyes. <laughs> so you are the apple of God's eyes and he protects you with all jealousy. He guides you with all jealousy. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of First Chronicles, you know. When you go to the book of First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 22. Yes, First Chronicles 16, 22. The Bible says, Saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. So being an anointed of God, it means there is a real strength that you carry. It means there is a mark, a special mark that you carry. Hallelujah. You carry the Lord's anointed. Glory to Jesus. When you again go to the book of Psalm, chapter 105, in verse 15, I think so, yes. Psalm, I don't want to make a mistake. Psalm, before somebody will say, ah, what, what is she saying? Which Bible is still reading? reading you know, you know, we have a lot of uh, professors. <laughs> we have a lot of, a lot of professors who are, who are not willing to see somebody make a mistake or a slip of tongue. Ah, if you dare make a mistake, how dare you make a mistake, you know? You need to care less about some certain things, child of God. I just care less about some certain things because at the end of the day, you find out that it is you and God that you have. So why worry about the haters, what they say? Why worry about them? The book of Psalm, chapter 105, verse 15, the Bible saying, the Bible says, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Hallelujah. Touch not my anointed. When you are an anointed of God, there is a real strength that you carry. No matter how the enemy try to touch you, they can't touch you. Why? Because you carry a real strength. You carry something that they don't, they don't understand. You carry the heaven language. You confuse the tongues of the enemy. Hallelujah. You confuse the understanding, the wisdom, their hearing of the enemy why because you carry heavenly language hallelujah is our heavenly language <laughs> glory to jesus child of god the enemy cannot touch you you are untouchable it is well with you jesus love you and i love you with the love of christ i remain your sister evangelist Sarah. by the grace of god i will see you again bye bye